Jacob's trying to make the video interesting. Woo! Good morning, mountain bikers. I'm Chris Wessels, and you're watching MTB Trail Review. Today, we're at Elephant Forest. This is actually the second time I'm trying to make this video. The first time, I realized I didn't know how to use my camera, and it didn't come out very well. So we're gonna try again. So this place is number one, gorgeous, and number two, technical. Come prepared to climb, come prepared to get some fun descents, and come prepared to ride lots of chunk. Let's get to the ride. So we have not been climbing for very long. And this is what we gained so far. You get all kinds of fun, if you like this kind of thing, technical riding. The GoPro effect is in full force here. And this isn't even the hard part yet. So be warned, if you are gonna do this, this ride and take the way up trail, you will earn your descents. Come prepared to climb. I'll show you a little more. See if I can make this. I don't think I made the section last time. Oh, I can't make the turn. Oh man. So one other thing to note, this is called the way up trail and it's the main trail to get to the preserve. You can come down this, but if you do, you will encounter several hikers. Several hundred. Several hundred, says Rob. He might not be wrong. So while this is an option and I haven't done it, Jacob has, he said it's really fun to come down. You're gonna come down slow. We're gonna take a different way down that we discovered the last time we were here where we don't come down slow. So this is an option. It might not be the best option if you're looking to go fast downhill. Okay, more climbing. We'll stop to appreciate the view for a second. It's pretty gorgeous up here. And we're two thirds up, is that right, Jacob? Just about for Roughly. The yeah, for the, the hardest climb. Great spot to take a breather when you hit these benches. So we're at the top now. Everything is very well marked. There's very good signage. Um, I'm not gonna give you a route to follow because I just don't know the area well enough to do that yet. Uh, I'm kind of following somebody else. But between the signage up here and trail forks, and then of course you can use people's Strava, you can kind of figure out which trails to ride. Just once again, be prepared. It's all gonna be black, borderline double black. The only thing in between is the connectors, which are going to be green and blue. All right, we are dropping into the Lake Hodges Overlook Trail. Quick downhill, semi-chunky. Here we go. Thank you so much. I'm the last one. Thank you. I'm the last one. Nice, Rob. All right, getting into pretty nasty climb. I'll bring you back. Okay. Getting into our first downhill, or our first real downhill of the day. This one does have some slabs in it, which is pretty cool. I'll turn that bell off in a second. Sorry, guys. It just got knocked loose. Okay, that should be off. You good? Okay, am I making any turns? Okay, I'll stay right. I'll stop up here for Jacob. We'll pause for a second. He said, stay right. Okay. Going back down.
That's an early. Good morning, good morning. I gotta adjust the knee pad, hold on. Okay, my bad. Whew. So, as you guys can see, this is not the fastest trail in the world. As you get to know it, it probably could be significantly faster than we're going, but it's very technical. Ow, that hurt. Okay. Ooh, caught my toe between my rock and my pedal. Man, Rob, you there? Okay. Man, that hurt. Anyways, what I was saying is, this is pretty slow and technical. It is not a fast show, it's very chunky. We got those little slabs in there, you can session them. Oh, this is the one, isn't it? Oh, I gotta go back for that. Okay, this is like the slab right here. You're probably going to the left, but. Oh, that turn is not possible, I swear. As I say that, Jacob made it. So, if you're a much better technical rider than me, that's super cool. Whoop. All right. Bushwhacking. That was a taxing downhill, but it was fun. So now this is really a big loop. Um, you can do this from either direction. We're gonna do the other direction in a minute. It sounds like there's a little halfway point climb that we're gonna go up, but this is a loop. And the other section is probably more fun to come down. Um, that section has the slab that we just did. So that's cool if you want to get some slabs in, which, you know, we don't have a ton of in San Diego. All right. I'm going to, well, are we still going down? We're still going down a little bit. I don't want to turn the camera off yet. Okay, we're taking a hard left. Not a bad view from the top. Let's do it. All right, we're, now we're gonna do the other half of the trail we were going down a minute ago. We just climbed up the middle. Now we're going down the other side. This is another chunky technical downhill. It looks a little bit different on this side than the other side. You don't have the slabs, but you have all this super loose, not even pebbles, rocks on top of more loose rocks. Hey. 
the old ruts. Oh, go left, Rob. Go left. I just walked back up because I wanted to redo this line. Much better. Probably pop up over that. Sketchy. Oh, that's a drop. Next time. Okay, so if you hit that to the right, you get a good drop. Probably supposed to be a drop too. So, good brother. Yeah, I'm. Just, I'm getting some break rub. I don't know what it is. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! I can't believe I just did that. I started to commit and then I decommitted. All these drops. I didn't really take them as drops. You can roll all of them. What do you say? Okay, finishing up this trail. That's tight. Got it. Guys, I don't know what that is on my brakes. It's almost like my rotor got knocked out of place on a rock or something. So I apologize for that. I'm gonna stop and look at it in a minute here, see if I can figure it out. I think we're climbing. We got Chris Never Miss Wessels attempting a slab climb. He's on one today, boys. Ooh, take one. That's gonna hit the editing room floor. Action. Ah. He made it on the first try when the camera's off, I promise you. I'm an honest man. Sunglass rock at Sport Array. Go, Jacob. You have to go over that rock. Perfect. I'll be I'll be a little offended if it doesn't make the edit. Take 96. Action. I swear he made it. He made it when the camera was enough. I promise you, I swear. It's, it, it's true, I, I promise you.
Thank you so much. Have a great day. Tough corner, Rob. Now we climb again. And then this is the quail trail. This is about as much flow as we're gonna get today. It's fun. Still chunky, but like chunky flow. That's what I'll call it, chunky flow. Oh, that hurt. Ooh. I just kicked up a huge rock and it nailed me in the shin. Ooh. Can turn and go refill some water. Morning. This takes us to the picnic area. We're gonna refill our water bottles. If you pack some food, you can have a picnic. There's a bathroom. It's a good spot to recharge. Let's do it. All right, we just climbed the equine incline. Now we're dropping into it. Hello. This is just fast, loose, and chunky with some really tight turns thrown in. Um, we kind of got my brakes fixed, but they're still not happy, so I'm gonna go a little slower. I'm gonna let these guys go ahead. I don't want to take this too fast and risk not being able to stop. So this first part's not too steep. It's mostly just chunk. And if you just like all your brakes, you can get going pretty quick. Uh, when we drop into the second trail called El Cielo, which is a little turn off that we're gonna get to later, that's where it gets steep and chunky. Oh, that was a snake for a second. So once again, I'm taking this slow so my brakes don't die. I don't know what's wrong with them. I just want to make sure I can stop. This is also a trail where line twist is important. So if you've never done it, you should take it slow. Just go about some lines, get to know them. Then blast down and have some fun. Just make sure you have your bill. And the guys in front of me do. How's it going? Thank you so much. I'm the last one. Mm -hmm. um, this section is not as hiker heavy as the other trails that we've been on today, but you'll still see a couple. I think the first time we dropped this, we saw two. 
So that's a big rock garden. Thank you, I'm the last one. Have a great day. <laughs> Ooh, you can smell that sage. Smells great out here. Oh, that's a good line. A leg and a hamburger too. That was a weird line. That was fun. You want to do that? I'm good. I was taking it easy. I was with Jacob the whole time on this. Nice, dude. Not that he wasn't going hard, but I'll still take it. Yeah. yeah All right, so the trail flattens out a little here. We're actually going to end up climbing for a minute. So I'm going to turn the camera off for now. I'll bring you back when we get back to the fun stuff. So we're continuing on the equine incline. 
Uh, we've been climbing for a few minutes. Loose, technical, you know, the standard for today. But we're gonna get a quick downhill. And then at the bottom, we're taking a sharp left onto El Cielo. And that's gonna take us all the way down to basically the road. And we got a little road ride back. So quick downhill, sharp, sharp left. And then after that, we have one more quick climb and we're done climbing until we get to the road. And that's just a tiny little road climb back to the truck. So take this left. I'll turn the camera back on when we start going down again. So I was wrong. We start right off with the downhill. I was thinking that we had a climb in front of us. Maybe we do. So you just missed the very first part of this. It's not much. Mostly just looks like that. Maybe we have a downhill before a climb. I don't remember. I've done this one time. We'll find out in a second. But I'll record just in case. Enjoy the downhill. And if we climb. Oh yeah, we climb. I see them up there. Oh, we had a climb. Steep climb too. And then we get our downhill. Bring you back in a second. Okay. We climbed, now we go down. Take a left. This is, whew, I'm tired. Chunky, has some steep sections. And then we end with some flow. Once again, I'm gonna take it easier. My thumb break is not happy and we don't know what's wrong with it. I don't want to get out of control if I lose my brake. But you can rip this thing if you let go. That's soft. So if I remember correctly, that, ooh, my brake is making some noise. If I remember correctly, that's the steeper section. Got some hikers coming out. Hello. Doing well, how are you guys? I'm the last one, thank you. Might have a little bit more chunk, but we're getting into some flow soon. those hikers. 
Oh, this section's so quiet. Yeah. Wow. That section is so here. fun. That was like <sighs> that felt so So that pretty much finishes up Elfin Forest. We just have a little fire road, tiny little single track. Then we're out to the road and we're done. So, hope you enjoyed this look at Elfin Forest. It's a really fun place. Just remember that if you're gonna come here, be ready to climb. Don't do it if you don't consider yourself to be an advanced rider. Because it is definitely one of the more dangerous rides that I've displayed on the channel. And that's it. Thanks for hitting the trails with me today, and I'm looking forward to our next ride.